Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host Jack Ryan Sullivan here at Norman's Rare Guitars, but today we've got a special guest host, Mr. Hey Jonathan Stout, Woo! Esquire. <laughs> that is in fact true. It is in fact true. So Jonathan, what in the heck do we have here? Uh, we've got something really fun. Um, I was playing this before we uh, we pulled it out. And, Ooh, look uh, at that. This is really cool. This is a 1947 Gibson L5 with a mid 40s, maybe even early 40s, Diarmond FHC guitar mic on it. And uh, these are really killer guitars. These late 40s L5s, um, they, I don't know, they just really got into this groove of really making really punchy guitars. And this one's got an ebony fingerboard. Some of them during, just post-war, there were some shortages. They didn't have enough uh, ebony, so they'd sometimes be rosewood, but this has got the ebony fingerboard, which I personally love because it's brighter. Um, but yeah, this is just a really nice, punchy guitar. And um, Here, let's put it, take it out of the oh, case. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do it. Yeah. And uh, we've got kind of interesting back and sides because it's kind of got this like bubble thing going on. Whoa. Um, which is different than the usual um, the usual tiger flames but you know these bubble ones sound great and it's got some nice rollers on the sides um a little bit of light checking a little bit of wear on this one but this thing plays and sounds great got the original pick guard uh, i've got i believe the original yeah the original cluson tuners on here and uh it it has the um kind of pre-war or to just post-war logo it doesn't have the slant logo yet so this is on the early side for the late 40s yeah it's just a, a really killer guitar got the amazing art deco l5 tailpiece these are one of my favorite tailpieces um and it's already hardwired it's for this so DRM. interesting and you got that you got the tailpiece jack there oh it looks like that now is it true that the art deco tailpiece on the l5 is actually modeled after the empire state building is that true i've always heard that oh man i always I've... heard if you put it upside down it resembles the empire state building i don't know but if we turn it upside down in here, I worry I bang it into something. So <laughs> I'll let he you doesn't, do that. He doesn't want to do it. No, you know what? I mean, it, I think I think that Art Deco design was just in the air, and so whether they modeled it after directly or took inspiration from it, but it's just it's so beautiful. And these these post-war L5s, um, I think sometimes some of the later into the 50s and later acoustic L5s they. They really carved them to like have a pickup on top, so they kind of die acoustically. But this has still got all its acoustic character, and it's yeah, this is a really cool guitar. So this is the one I've been looking on. It's <laughs> looking on the internet and checking out <laughs> for my perch at home. Cool. So, well, should we go out here and hear that dog one? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go play this Can thing. I play with you? Oh heck yeah! Let's, now, do, let's do it. Let's go. All right. We're out front with this great 1947 uh, Gibson L5, and it's got an original era Diarmond FHC guitar mic, which is one of my favorite early electric guitar pickups. And uh, yeah, this thing, this thing rules. It's got a really cool uh, kind of bubble back, and then uh, a little slightly flamey sides. So yeah. What amp are you playing? It and we're playing this through a presumably 1937 to 1940 Gibson EH150, just like my hero Charlie Christian played. And what are you playing, Jack? Playing this beautiful 1935 Advanced L5, because this was called an Advanced L5 that year because they just kind of introduced that body style, so it's pretty cool. All right, let's All right. go. Here's a, here's a Charlie Christian tune they played with Benny Goodman called Benny's Bugle. One, two, one, two, three.
that's what he said. We get to my world and let's play some Western swing music. That's that sounds good to me, man. Let's do it. All right, this is a old uh, Ernest Tubb tune. Actually, it's called Driving Nails in My Coffin. Here we go. Y'all, this is the amazing irreverent Jonathan Stout. Exactly. <laughs> He's got a really great album, by the way. What is it called? Uh, Let It Snow, our new Christmas album, just dropped on Spotify and Bandcamp and all the places you get music. Uh, Can't and if, you're, wait. if you're crazy enough to want to learn to play this kind of stuff, uh, the DC Music School, it's a DC musicschool.com. Just put out a three volume course on uh, my guitar playing. There's two volumes of Charlie Christian electric style, sort of like this stuff, and then a, a whole other one of uh, acoustic chord melody. So if you, if you want to learn to do this kind of cool 1930s, 40s stuff, that's where you can do it. Fantastic. Well, thanks for coming by today, dude. Okay. It's Come great on. to finally meet you. and. We've, we've so been internet fun. friends for years. <laughs> now we're friends in real life. That's right. That's right. You can't beat that, y'all. So <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us today. Uh, be sure to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Reverb, all that good stuff. Norman's Rare Guitars. I'm your host, Jack Ryan Sullivan. This is my co-host, Jonathan Stout. We'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.